are watching Channel 7, WABC-TV, number one in New York. This is Eyewitness News, the 11 o'clock report in color with Roger Grimsby and the Channel 7 Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. This is Eyewitness News, Wednesday, July 7th, 1976. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. I'm Roger Grimsby. That's Roger Sharp. <laughs> this is Eyewitness News, Thursday, October 14th, 1976. Good evening, everybody. I'm Tom Ellis, and you know what the story is tonight. This is Eyewitness News, Monday, December 13th, 1976. Good evening, everybody. I'm Tom Ellis, and here's what's happening tonight. Condemned Utah killer Gary Gilmar may get his death wish soon. WABC-TV, New York. This is Eyewitness News with Larry Kane and the Eyewitness News Team. Thursday, July 14th, 1977. Good evening, I'm Larry Kane. Our big story on Eyewitness News is the live picture you see directly behind me. This is Eyewitness News, Wednesday, March 8th, 1978. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. Another piece of New York fell by the curbside today for who knows how long. The evidence of our crumbling city, this time parking meters, vital cogs in the revenue machine. This is Eyewitness News with John Johnson for Roger Grimsby, Ellen Fleischer for Bill Butel, plus Mike Barry, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening. A new year, a new beginning for most of us. This is Eyewitness News with John Johnson, Anna Bond, and the Eyewitness News team. A United Airlines 747 jet en route to New York from Los Angeles has reportedly been hijacked. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Roseanne Scamardella, Warner Wolf, Spencer Christian, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, everybody. Tonight, the most encouraging break from Iran that we've had in quite some time. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Anna Bond for Roseanne Scamardella, Warner Wolf, Spencer Christian, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, everybody. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Roseanne Scamardella, and the Eyewitness News team. A fear, perhaps shared by millions of New Yorkers, becomes reality. What if suddenly a sidewalk grating lets go from under your feet? From New York's number one news television station, this is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. There is no contract settlement for the police, fire, sanitation, and other uniformed workers, and there is no strike yet. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Roseanne Scamardella, plus Spencer Christian and the Eyewitness News team. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, plus Bruce King, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. The toll heavy. Twenty are known dead in this winter's second devastating fire in this area. This most recent one, seemingly as intense as the one last month at Stouffer's Inn, certainly is tragic. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, plus Bruce King, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. There are now manhunts on both sides of the Hudson. New York police still looking for the stabber who took four lives. No new leads reported. And New Jersey police are now looking for a man armed with a club. He's struck in five communities so far. The victims, all women, all attacked as they left a supermarket. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Roseanne Scamardella, plus Warner Wolf, Spencer Christian, and the Eyewitness News team. Good 
evening. It really was exciting. One of the most dramatic moments in sports, certainly in the history of the Olympics. The United States hockey team beat the Russians. After a round, after Afghanistan, after inflation, we finally have something to cheer about. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, plus Warner Wolf, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Broadcasting direct from the Eyewitness Newsroom. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. This is Eyewitness News, the New York area's number one news presentation. With Roger Grimsby, Ernie Anastas for vacationing Bill Butel, and the Eyewitness News team, broadcasting direct from the Eyewitness Newsroom. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. A 26-year-old former mental patient has been killed by police. The man was armed with a pair of scissors. Raising the question, why did five officers fire a total of 24 shots to bring him down? From New York's number one television news team, this is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, plus Spencer Christian and Storm Field. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. An undercover FBI agent who joined the underworld, spent his second day in the witness chair. Testimony was given at the trial of five men accused of racketeering and other violations. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Roseanne Scamardella, Spencer Christian, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, everyone. We have some pretty good economic news to bring you for a change tonight. This is Eyewitness News with Bill Butel, Kaidi Tong for Roger Grimsby, plus Storm Field and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. The this is the 5 o'clock Eyewitness News with Tom Snyder, Kaidi Tong, plus Katie Kelly, Ira Joe Fisher, and the Eyewitness News team. Well, thank you very much, Gil Hodges, and here's what's happening now on Friday, January 6, 1984. We have more trouble to report with New York City's Grumman buses. Now it's possible steering troubles. All the buses will be taken off the road, and they'll be checked. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby and Tracy Egan, plus Spencer Christian, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Bill Butel is off tonight. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby and Tracy Egan, plus Spencer Christian, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Bill Butel is off tonight. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. The FBI says it's slowly strangling the drug trade of the biggest organized crime family in this country. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, plus Spencer Christian, Dr. Bill Gutch for Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. An 82-year-old woman, one of the most recent victims of murder in New York. It happened in her Greenwich Village home. A maid discovering the elderly lady with a bullet wound in her neck. This is Eyewitness News with Bill Butel, John Johnson for Roger Grimsby, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. I'm the hot dog... This is the 5 o'clock Eyewitness News with Tom Snyder, Kaidi Tong, Ira Joe Fisher, and the Eyewitness News team. And here's what's happening now on Monday afternoon, June the 11th, 1984. We all know what the big story is today. It's the heat wave here in New York City. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Kaidi Tong. Spencer Christian, Ira Joe Fisher, and the Eyewitness News team. Storm Field is off tonight. Good evening, everyone. Here's what's happening at this hour. A bomb went off a short time ago at a Union Carbide facility in Terrytown, New York. Right now, there are no reports of any injuries, and we do not know the extent of the damage. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Connie Tong, Jerry Azar, Dr. Bill Gooch, Plus Roger Grimsby live in Philadelphia for a recap of the Live Aid concert and the Eyewitness News team. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Kaidi Tong, Dr. Bill Gutch for Storm Field, Spencer Christian, Corey McFerrin at the World Series, and the Eyewitness News team.
Good evening. Tonight we have two stories about innocent people caught in the grip of crime. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby and Bill Butel. Plus Spencer Christian, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening. I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. The Mets could do it or undo it in the next few hours. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, plus Spencer Christian, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. Dog days of summer, here with a vengeance. Hot weather combined with a high humidity. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Kylie Tong, Spencer Christian, Dr. Bill Gutch, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening. Governor Cuomo tonight is waging a new battle in the war against AIDS. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas and Kylie Tong, plus special election coverage with Roger Grimsby and Bill Butel. Now, here's Ernie Anastas. Good evening, everyone. It wasn't even close. Big victories tonight. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas, Heidi Tong, Storm Field, Corey McFerrin, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening. Here's what's happening. New York City medical examiner Elliot Gross says he will respond tomorrow to charges of incompetence and negligence. This is Eyewitness News with Bill Butel, Roger Grimsby, Stormfield, Corey McFerrin, and the Eyewitness News team. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, Stormfield, Corey McFerrin, and the Eyewitness News team. The assassination of Paul Castellano has local and federal officials looking for the men who did it and for a motive. Finding either or both extremely difficult given the secrecy of organized crime. This is Eyewitness News with Kaidi Tong, Ernie Anastas, Eli Zarev, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening. Former U.N. Secretary General Kurt Waldheim faces special punishment tonight from the United States. This is Eyewitness News with John Marler, Rolanda Watts, plus Dr. Bill Gutch, Scott Clark, and the Eyewitness News team. This is Eyewitness News with Bill Butel. John Johnson for Kaidi Tong, plus Eli Zarrett, Dr. Bill Gutch for Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News Team. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. Tonight, there are many unanswered questions. This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas and Kaidi Tong, plus Spencer Christian, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News Team. Good evening. Officials say there is no reason to panic, but there is a new scare tonight concerning AIDS. You're watching Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas and Katie Tong. Eli Zarrett has sports, storm field with weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Greg Hurst. Ross Abrams, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ross. This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Bill Butel, Corey McFerrin with Sports, Storm Field with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Bill Butel and Diana Williams. Scott Clark with Sports. Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. And the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Bill Butel and Susan Rosen. Scott Clark with Sports. Sam Champion.
champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. You're watching Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas and Katie Tong. Eli Zarat has sports, storm field with weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening. John Marler is sitting in tonight for Ernie Anastas, who's on vacation. Here's what... This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Greg Hurst and Roz Abrams, Sam Champion with the weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. You're watching Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas and Katie Tong. Corey McFerrin with sports, Storm Field with weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. You're watching Channel 7 Eyewitness News with John Marler and Rolanda Watts. Scott Clark has sports, Dr. Bill Gutch with weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening. Two people were critically injured as a robbery turned into a shooting in Lower Manhattan this afternoon. You're watching Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas and Katie Tong. Eli Zarad has sports, storm field with weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening, everyone. Here's what's happening. Little Michael Kelly is only six years old, but tonight he is New York's littlest hero. His quick phone call helped to save his mother's life as she lay bleeding, the victim of a vicious attack. You're watching Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas and Katie Tong. Eli Zarad has sports, storm field with weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening. I'm Ernie Anastas. Ross Abrams joins me tonight for Katie Tong, who is on vacation. Here's what's happening. A quiet evening of Bible study has been shattered by bullets. Two children have been rushed to the hospital with gunshot wounds. The two girls, ages 9 and 11, were hit by the bullets in a second-floor Coney Island apartment. You're watching Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Bill Butel and John Johnson. Corey McFerrin has sports, storm field with weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening. This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Bill Butel and Kaidi Tong. Corey McFerrin with sports, Stormfield with the weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Edie Tarbox and Victoria Corderi, Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, I'm Edie Tarbox. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Greg Hurst, Ross Abrams, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Roz Abrams. Tru this is Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Butel and Diana Williams. Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. It can be argued that it was the most widely anticipated figure skating event ever. The big showdown between Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding. And tonight, the fight is all but over. Kerrigan can go on to win the gold, but Harding will almost surely go home empty-handed. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Butel, Diana Williams, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. The New York City medical examiner says Ernest Seon's death in police custody was in truth a case of homicide. Because of that potentially dangerous news, Mayor Giuliani is meeting tonight with community leaders on Staten Island. The mayor is inside Borough Hall and out on the street. Hundreds of angry protesters face grim lines of police.
You're watching Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas and Roz Abrams, Sam Champion with weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Butel, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. At a time when... This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Butel. Diana Williams, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. A wall of flames. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Rob Hanrahan, Nancy Liu, Mark McFarland, Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Harry Martin, Marianne Wright, Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, I'm Harry Martin. And I'm Marianne Wright, and this is Eyewitness News at Noon. Leading our news this afternoon, a terrifying morning for some Long Island school children involved in a school bus accident. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Greg Hurst, Roz Abrams, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Harry Martin, Marianne Wright, Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Butel, Diana Williams, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Rob Hanrahan, Nancy Liu, Bill Evans, with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Smoke and fire fill the air over the Bronx. Newscopter 7 is over the scene at dawn as a shopping center goes up in flames. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Nancy Liu. I'm Rob Hanrahan. Thanks for joining us. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Butel, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Eight months after the crash of TWA Flight 800, and one of the lead investigators tells Eyewitness News what he is sure did not happen that night. Good evening, everyone. I'm Diana Williams, in tonight for... This is the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Roz Abrams, Rob Hanrahan, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. This is the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Butan. Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Tonight, the sexual assault of two teenage girls. This is the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Ritter, Sandra Bookman, Spencer Tillman with sports, Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Tonight, winds of change, and they could dramatically alter the course of... This is the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Ritter, Sandra Bookman, Mark Stevens with sports, Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team, the Eyewitness News. 
A little girl who lives in this Newark apartment is in a fight for life tonight while her mother and a live-in boyfriend have been arrested for child abuse. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. Bill Ritter has the night off. Police say that four-year-old was admitted to a Newark hospital unconscious, barely breathing, and covered with bruises and bite marks. Tonight, the mother and boyfriend are in custody and facing some tough questions from police. Judge Torres. This is the News Leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hurricane Dennis proves to be a menace for North Carolina as it bears down on the coast, packing rough winds and heavy... This is the News Leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Ron Abrams, Rob Hanrahan, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Right now on Eyewitness News, hundreds of thousands of people ordered to evacuate North Carolina's Outer Banks as Hurricane Bonnie closes in on the coast. Bonnie is also stirring up dangerous waves along the Jersey Shore, where one man is still missing and four lifeguards had to be rescued. And in South Africa, a bomb explodes inside a Planet Hollywood restaurant, killing one person and perhaps injuring dozens more. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Roz Abrams. I'm Rob Hanrahan. We've got a this is the news leader. Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Bill Buten, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. This is the news leader. Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Bill Buten, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. And the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Stop it, stop it. Tonight, this chilling tape, a teacher's frenzied 911 call with gunshots in the background. These were the opening moments of the Littleton Massacre. Good evening, everybody. I'm Bill Butel. The words on the tape, the pleas for help, all pass in a blur. Each moment. This is the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Roz Abrams, Rob Hanrahan, Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Right now on Eyewitness News, cries for help from inside Columbine High School. Police released the chilling 911 tapes as that shooting spree began. And the shooting's ripple effect in our area. Threats of violence shut down several local schools. Good afternoon. We're glad you're with us. I'm Rob Hanrahan. I'm Roz Abrams. We begin this afternoon with more disturbing discoveries in the Colorado High School massacre. Just you're watching the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News with Nancy Liu. David Ushery, Bill Evans with the AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. This is the News Leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hurricane Dennis roars by the North Carolina coast. It's You're watching the News Leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News, with Roz Abrams, Rob Hanrahan, Sam Champion with the AccuWeather forecast and the Eyewitness News team. This is the News Leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Prosecutors call him a sexual predator. Now he's charged with molesting nine children. Good evening, everyone. I'm Diana Williams in tonight for Bill Butel. Tonight, a lot of people are questioning why Robert... This is the News Leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Right now, a live picture of hundreds of Jews taking to the... You're watching the News Leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. With Bill Butel, Diana Williams, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. This is the News Leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Here are the stories making headlines on this Tuesday, August 31st. Outrage in Brooklyn this morning. You're watching the News Leader, 
ABC 7 Eyewitness News with Nancy Liu, David Ushery, Art McFarland with sports, Bill Evans with the AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. You're watching the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News with Bill Butel, Scott Clark with sports, Sam Champion with the AccuWeather forecast, and the Eyewitness News team. This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. A case of deadly force under fire. New York City's Hasidic community demands answers after police shoot and kill an emotionally disturbed man. His mother says cops overreact. What happened? He was not out to kill anybody. He never really physically hurt anybody. Good afternoon. We're glad you're with us. I'm Rob Hanrahan. And I'm Diana Williams in for Roz Abrams. New York City police are under intense scrutiny again for another deadly shooting. This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Tonight, acclaimed director Steven Spielberg is recovering after undergoing emergency surgery to remove one of his kidneys. Good evening, everyone. I'm Diana Williams. And I'm Bill Ritter. Doctors say a complete... This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. A heartbreaker in hockey. The Devils give a good fight, but lose the Stanley Cup to the Avalanche in Game 7. Plus, hoping to avoid the violence of last year, the city prepares for the annual Puerto Rican Day Parade. And helpful hints for new dads as we approach Father's Day, teaching men how to bond with their babies. We've got some practical tips. And you're looking live at Lower Manhattan on this Sunday, June 10th, 2001. Good morning. Out. This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. A routine job is anything but routine as a worker takes a fall on the George Washington Bridge. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Steve Bartlesey. And I'm Lori Stokes. Welcome to Eyewitness News at... This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. After a possible West Nile death, a new round of spraying is just hours away on Long Island. And after years of training, a girl's dreams to play high school football are dashed after she's ordered to take a test that none of the other players had to take. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman in for Roz Abrams. I'm Rob Hanrahan. Glad you're with us. West Nile Worry. This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Tonight, President Bush tries to reassure the nation after another ugly day for the economy. And 26 years after he vanished, a big break in the disappearance of Jimmy Hoffa. This is the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Good morning, it's 5 a.m. Channel 7 is back on the air. A smoky fire on the Eyewitness News set left us in the dark last night, but we are so happy to be back with you this morning. Five o'clock, good morning, I'm Lori Stokes. And I'm Jeff Rosen. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Steve Bartlestein, Lori Stokes, and Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. It is 6 a.m. and driving throughout the region is going to be treacherous for the morning's commute. Snow on the ground to the north of the city, but the big concern is going to be ice on the ground to just about everywhere. And expect major problems at the airports as flights are delayed and canceled and passengers are left with nowhere else to go like this little one. Oh, man. This is the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. This is the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Was it a threat fulfilled? After a history of warnings, a synagogue goes up in flames. And fire officials suspect it was not an accident. And play ball, an annual rite of spring. It's opening day for the Bronx Bombers. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Lori Stokes and Ken Rosado and Bill Evans for the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at noon.
A somber day as friends, family, and colleagues say goodbye to a firefighter killed in the line of duty. His burial comes as startling information is revealed about flaws and the safety conditions at the high rise in which he and a fellow firefighter lost their lives. Good afternoon, I'm Lori Stennis. And I'm Ken Rosado. This is the News Leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. One dangerous coyote down, but now a community learns there are at least four more on the loose. And the fleet's in. Fleet Week gets underway right here in New York City. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Joe Torres. And I'm Lori Stokes. Welcome to Eyewitness News. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With Diana Williams, Sade Veteranois, and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. Shock tonight in a Brooklyn church where police say a reverend raped an 11-year-old altar boy. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With Diana Williams, Shade Baderanois, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. A lab technician accused of inappropriately touching a patient. Tonight, investigators want to know, are there other victims out there? and a horrible car crash. It kills five brothers and sisters from one family in the Bronx. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Diana Williams, Shade Veteranois, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. Freezing rain, sleet, and snow. Stormwatch 7 is in full effect. We're seeing it all today. The conditions making for a dangerous commute home tonight. But the worst isn't over. Get ready for another drop in temperatures and dangerous winds. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Bitter and Liz Joe. Scott Clark with sports and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. Tonight, protest says hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers may be at risk of losing their driver's license. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Bitter and Liz Cho. Scott Clark with sports and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. Tonight, two people under arrest in a brutal double murder on Long Island. Were the victims shot and killed by someone they knew and trusted? It was a conspiracy by these people to get rid of me. And the Eyewitness News investigators uncover new evidence in the case of a police chief who claims he was stripped of his authority because of his age. And good evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Liz Cho. Bill is off tonight. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Bitter and Liz Cho, Scott Clark with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. Please, leave me. You need to pick up my baby. A good Samaritan tonight demanding justice. A woman arrested by police after she helped them and an accident victim. And the arrest is captured on videotape. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Bitter and Liz Cho, Scott Clark with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. One day after a surprising and disappointing second place finish in the New Hampshire primary, Senator Barack Obama tries to jumpstart his campaign in New Jersey. This is the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. The faces of three children who are in the hospital tonight without parents. A deadly accident kills a young mother and father. And a new videotape released of two 9-11 hijackers laughing and joking. Good evening once again. I'm Jeff Pegues. And I'm Sam for Bookman with the game. This is the news leader, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. One of New York's finest dies battling a warehouse fire. Tonight, new information about this fallen hero. 
parts of our area still flooded, and now another nasty rainstorm is headed our way. Sam Champion has the AccuWeather detail. And not for kids. A local lawmaker wants to take toy guns off store shelves permanently. And good evening to you. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. We begin with a young firefighter killed in action. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho. Scott Clark with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 11. Tonight, an icy, dangerous road sends a car skidding into a home. This as a deep freeze moves in and grips most of our area. And a horrible day for several planes filled with passengers, many of them children. Hundreds of people forced to wait for hours on the tarmac. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho, Scott Clark with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 11. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho, Scott Clark with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now. Eyewitness News at 11. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Lori Stokes and Ken Rosado and Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. I think a Thursday morning, it's 5 a.m. The husband. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Lori Stokes and Ken Rosado. And Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at noon. An emotional reunion. Two American journalists sentenced to hard labor in North Korea are finally reunited with their families. And search for answers. The family of two victims killed on the Taconic State Parkway meet with the Westchester County District Attorney. Good afternoon. I'm Ken Rosado. And I'm Laurie Stokes. Welcome to Eyewitness News at noon. We're going to have those. This is the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, first at 4. Here's what's Freedom at last. A man from Brooklyn in prison for years, even though the charges against him were dismissed, is now out of jail thanks to an Eyewitness News investigation. This is Eyewitness News at 5. Tiger Woods about to break his silence for the first time since his sex scandal. We will soon hear from the disgraced golfer. And time is running out as police search for a three-month-old baby allegedly tossed off a bridge into the Raritan River. Good evening. I'm Diana Williams. And I'm Shade Bitter. And while we begin... This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With Diana Williams and Shade Bitter and Wah and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. For the second time in a week, folks are stopping. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With her and Liz Cho, Scott Clark with and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. This is Eyewitness News at 11. The accidental drug bust. Police break up a major illegal prescription drug ring, but... They didn't go looking for it. It was something they smelled that caught their attention. Good evening, everyone. 11 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Liz Joe. We'll have more on that drug bust in just a moment. But we. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Ritter and Liz Joe, Scott Clark with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 11. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Joe Torres and Sandra Bookman, Rob Powers with sports, and Heidi Jones with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News. A high... This is the news leader, Channel 7, Eyewitness News at 11. Another batch of inappropriate pictures made public tonight of humiliated New York Congressman Anthony Weiner. Pictures taken by Weiner himself in various stages of undress. 
Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Ritter. Joe Torres is on assignment in Puerto Rico to cover President Obama's trip there. And I'm Sandra Bookman. The Wiener Internet sex scandal hanging over Congress as it reconvenes tomorrow. But we... This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Phil Lipoff and Michelle Charlesworth. And Amy Freeze with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Lori Stokes and Ken Rosado. And Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at noon. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Do the lunches you pack for your children pose a health risk? Alarming new information about the bag lunches kids bring to school and camp. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Liz Cho and David Navarro. And Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News, first at four. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Diana Williams and Sade Badrenoir. And Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at five. And Super Bowl weekend is almost upon us. Just over 48 hours until the big Sunday showdown, we have the rivalry, the predictions, and the final preparations. But first, there is growing anger after a deadly police shooting. An unarmed man killed new information about what happened inside the home. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Bill Ritter and Liz Cho. Rob Powers with sports. And Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. For crime targeting religious sites tonight, a surge for burglars hitting houses of worship in the Bronx. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. The heat and humidity break in a violent way. Trees crash down, cars damaged. And watching the markets, the storm on Wall Street spreading around the world tonight. What will stop the fall? Good evening, I'm David Navarro. Bill is on. And I'm Shade Better and while we... This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Bill Ritter and Shade Vader and Wah. Rob Powers with sports. Heard with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 11. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Lori Stokes and Ken Rosado. Heather O'Rourke with traffic. And Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. Breaking news in Brooklyn. Four men are found dead inside a home. One man killed three people, then himself. We're live with the latest. Also, aid from the United States makes, it way, makes its way through to the Philippines as we're seeing new images of Typhoon Haiyan. And new this morning, the search is on for a group of shoplifters who beat a man after they robbed his store. And good morning, I'm Lori Stokes. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ken Rosado today. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Phil Lipoff and Michelle Charlesworth. And Amy Freeze with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. We take you to breaking news that's happening right now in the Bronx. A section of the Hutchinson River Parkway is shut down. We've been telling you after a crash one, two, one, two, one, two, that one, two. has claimed at least two lives and put others in the hospital. We are just minutes away from a live report. New video this morning of a man accused of attacking a woman trying to rape her. Here who intervenes, scaring that suspect away. And look at the calendar. We're 19 days away from the holiday tradition that is the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. What's being done right now to get those famous floats ready to go. And good morning once again, everybody. We are just approaching 9 o'clock, one minute from it. On our clock here in the studio, there's Lower Manhattan, the Brooklyn Bridge off to your right. We got some cloud cover we didn't exactly have a little earlier on no. this morning, so we're going to have to investigate that. Meteorologist Amy Freeze. But in the meantime... Thanks so much for spending part of your weekend with us. I'm Phil Lipoff. And I'm Michelle Charlesworth. Happy Saturday morning. Amy said this was going to roll in. Yep. She's like, enjoy the sunshine And it has rolled. 
This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Michelle Charlesworth and Rob Nelson. And Amy Freeze with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. Breaking news in the mid-air mystery surrounding Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Could a new discovery in the investigation help crews find the missing jetliner? Plus, what caused that raging fire that reduced a New Jersey motel to rubble and left four people de dead? This morning, we, what we know about the investigation as we wait to learn the identities of the victims. And get ready to get outside because we're going to see sun today and 60 degree temperatures on this first weekend of spring. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Lori Stokes and Ken Rosado and Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at noon. A triple murder-suicide in Brooklyn, and this afternoon, police believe it all stemmed from a dispute between band members. This is New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Liz Cho and David Navarro, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News, first at four. A young man critically injured after a fire in East Harlem. The question this afternoon, was the fire intentionally set after an argument? Plus, a 10-year-old boy says he was bullied in school, so why did local police handcuff him and take him into custody? Now, family members are demanding. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Diana Williams and Sade Badran Wah and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. A teenager accused of being a peeping Tom secretly recording people in a locker room and shower at a gym. And the big surprise, how he got caught. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Bill Ritter and Liz Cho. Rob Powers with sports. And Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. A young man seriously hurt in a fire in an apartment building in Harlem. Was the fire deliberately set in an argument over a cell phone? But first, new at six, stunning accusations of hate at a public school. Jewish students say they were taunted with anti-Semitic slurs, swastikas were painted everywhere and not cleaned up for weeks. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Joe Torres and Sandra Bookman. Laura Banky with sports. And Jeff Smith with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. Chaos in Bryant Park. What should have been a fun night at the skating rink instead shattered by gunfire? Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Convicted murderers on the run. Two men pull off an elaborate prison break. Tonight, new details on their escape as we get a closer look inside the prison. This is breaking news from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. It was a regular Monday at the mall, and then all of a sudden, like, I didn't even believe it at first, and then the mall security literally had to scream, like, get the F out. Just a regular Monday night at the mall, and then suddenly a mad dash for cover. Reports of shots fired at New Jersey's largest mall in Paramus, and it's now on lockdown. The gunman apparently still on the loose with a reported assault-style weapon on him. Hundreds of police from all over northern New Jersey. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Ken Rosado and Shirley Nalakai, Heather O'Rourke with traffic, and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. Many questions still unanswered with the new school year right around the corner. One thing we do know that New York City school students will be required to wear masks, but will eligible students be required to get vaccinated? Chaos in Kabul. Thousands of people still trying to flee Afghanistan this morning. Questions if the Biden administration knew about the imminent Taliban takeover before pulling troops from that country. And the calm before the storm today, partly cloudy skies as Henri approaches. When will the storm arrive and which parts of our area will feel the impact? Well, good morning on this Friday, August 20th. I'm Candace McCowan in for Shirley Nalicott. And I'm Ken Rosado. And 
This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Lori Stokes and Ken Rosado. Heather O'Rourke with traffic. And Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. Breaking news at 5 a.m. and a deadly shooting at a pool party. Several people shot, many rushed to surgery. The new developments overnight. Maiden voyage today. The first ferry departs from the Rockaways to Lower Manhattan. We have new reaction from the first person to buy a ticket. And government shutdown averted. Big spending deal reached in Congress, but will it pay for the border wall? This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Lori Stokes and Ken Rosado. Heather O'Rourke with traffic. And Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. Now at 6 o'clock, an escaped prisoner on the run in New Jersey. Schools in one town will reopen today as the search continues with police standing side by side with students. A gruesome discovery across from a Jersey City Park. Details on a shooting overnight. And a commuter alert right now. Problems on the LIE where a truck fire is jamming up traffic. And good morning to you. I'm Shirley Nalicott in for Lori Stokes. And I'm Ken Rosado. Thank you for joining us today. It is this is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News with David Navarro and Shirley Halicott and Bill Evans with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at noon. Developing right now, the manhunt for an escaped prisoner in New Jersey. What photos reveal about his time on the run? This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Liz Cho and David Navarro and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News, first at four. This afternoon, a middle school student is now charged with stabbing a 14-year-old on his way to school. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With Bill Ritter and Liz Cho. Rob Powers with sports. And Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. A retired nurse in New York City simply vanishes. And now police make an ominous discovery in her home. A discovery that raises questions about whether she's alive. But first, an Eyewitness News exclusive. New York cops right now looking for a bicyclist. They say viciously attacked a driver with a bike lock. Tonight, the victim talking only to us. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Tonight, we are following two developing stories. Police are searching for a hit-and-run driver who hit a man as he crossed the street in the Bronx. That man now fighting for his life. This is breaking news from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Two stories breaking right now. The NYPD searching for a missing three-year-old girl and her nanny who have vanished. Family members talking to Eyewitness News just moments ago. This is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Ken Rosado and Shirley Nalakai, Heather O'Rourke with traffic, and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. Right now at 6 o'clock, the desperate search for a missing teen in New Jersey. The reward for information in... For Jashia Moore, we are live in East Orange where the 14-year-old was last seen 27 days ago. Pfizer's taking another jab at booster shots for all Americans ages 18 and up. The new request the drug maker is now making to the FDA. And the biggest nine in country music is here. The 55th annual CMAs, the CMA Awards. They take over Nashville tonight. What to expect from this year's jam-packed show hosted by Luke Bryan. We were talking about this. Is it the CMA Awards? Because the A is right. award. Right, we'll figure it out. Good morning to you. I'm Ken Rosado. I'm Michelle Charles. We're in for Shirlene Al Alicott. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News this morning. Breaking news in Brooklyn. Investigation underway after police fired shots at a suspect along part of the Belt Parkway. New York Governor Hochul is signing the $220 billion budget. The bill's passage comes with more than a week after the original deadline.
Peacock Pride will be on display in the Bronx tonight. The Yankees are going to honor the men's basketball team at St. Peter's University. Yeah, it's going to be a fun day for baseball. A little bit chilly, a little bit chilly. Okay. That's okay. The sun is shining on this Sunday so Windy. far. Glad to have you in this morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm Michelle Charlesworth. And I'm Mike Marzell. Let's bring in Meteor. This is New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Michelle Charlesworth and Mike Marza, and Brittany Bell with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. This is New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with David Navarro and Shirley Nalicott, and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at noon. Keeping teachers and students safe in school, that's the mission behind new safety measures rolling out across the tri-state. But new at noon, Mayor de Blasio stopped short of ordering a vaccine mandate. The President Biden set to lay out his plan to fight the Delta variant ahead of his announcement. We are learning what to expect as COVID cases continue to rise across the country. And good afternoon, I'm David Navarro. And I'm Lauren Glassberg. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 6. This is New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho, Ryan Field with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. A school district on Long Island decides to hire armed private security guards to protect students on campus. But some parents are not happy about it. And businesses in Harlem are pushing back against plans to build a cannabis dispensary in 125th Street, right across the street from the famed Apollo Theater. And good evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Liz Cho. Bill is off tonight. We'll this is New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Joe Torres and Sandra Buckman, Sam Ryan with sports, and Jeff Smith with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. The fight to curb the rapidly spreading Omicron variant intensifies. The high demand at testing sites, the influx at COVID labs, and the local NBA team putting two games on hold. Plus, tough new rules at at least one entertainment venue in Manhattan. The policy that requires a vaccine and a negative test. Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. The Omicron variant wreaking havoc this Christmas Eve, disrupting travel and holiday traditions alike. Good evening at 11 o'clock. I'm Sandra Book, but Bill and Sade have the night off. WABC-TV, number one in New York.